this tutorial, we are going to show you how to import a smart credit credit report inside of Dispute Panda or a smart credit white label. So smart credit white labels have different front ends, but the insides all look the same. And once we log in here, you'll be able to see that if the inside looks like this, it is a smart credit white label. Got it? Let's go. So sign in. Drop in your credentials. Log in. If your screen looks like this, regardless of what it says right here, it is a smart credit white label. White labels have a different front end. Insides all look the same. So how do we get to the credit report? Very simple. You go this drop down that says reports. And I'm on Google Chrome. I will highly suggest that you use Google Chrome if you want to follow along with this tutorial. It might look a little bit different if you're using a different web browser. 3B reports and scores. Once you are here, switch to the classic view. Once you're in the classic view, I want you to scroll down just a little bit, find a blank space. I like it here in the middle right here, right click. If you're on Chrome, you'll see view page source. If you are on Safari, you might see a different area. So use Chrome if you would like to follow along, please. View page source. You're now going to see a code that looks like this. So your next step will be, if you're looking at this URL bar, you will see it says 3B here. So you did 3B slash. After the slash, you're going to put in a code. And that code will be simple.htm question mark format equals HTML. Your next step, you will press enter. And once you press enter, you just give it a little time. And then we get the old HTML code that we know and love and we are used to. All right. So then the next step is we're going to select all and then copy all. So a couple of ways that you can select all. I believe you can hit edit. Select all. And then you can hit edit and then you can hit copy. Or if you're on the Mac, you can use your shortcut keys, which is command A and then command C and similar, whatever will be inside of Windows. Now we have the code that we know and love that works. And then your next step will be to go back into Dispute Panda. Inside of Dispute Panda, inside of your Documents tab, and keep in mind your disputing and your tax tab will not show until you have the proof of identification, proof of address, and the credit report in. We highly recommend that you have a driver's license with your updated address or state ID. You have a cell phone bill with a matching address from your driver's license or some form of house bill, as well as your SSN. If you send all three of those together and the name on your license or your state ID matches your SSN or the address on your license or state ID matches your bill, you will do pretty well. So then you're going to import here, upload the report. Now that we have it uploaded, everything works just fine. Everything stays exactly the same as before. If you hit the I here, you'll have your late payments. If you do have any and so on and so forth. Now, if you do not want to do that process, you don't want to be possibly subjected to future changes that you have no control over service disruptions. I would highly recommend that you go to your dashboard and then you click the sign up to be a credit dyno affiliate. Now, what do you gain by being a credit dyno affiliate? You gain the one click imports. You gain that there will be no changes to the back end, no sudden changes, and you gain higher commissions as well. You gain the highest commissions in the industry, as well as special Dispute Panda features. And let me show you one of these special Dispute Panda features that you gain. All right, let me show you one of the special features that you get that is unique to Credit Dino. One is the one-click import. 
So you don't have to go to any websites. You don't have to do any right clicking. You don't have to put in any special codes. You don't have to worry about possible changes. It's just simple, easy, and quick. You go to your disputing tab, as you see, all those things are still there. But some cool things that you get when you click this I, instead of just a small pop up with the two years of payment history, you get a full, complete breakdown of the account. Right. So you get to see the disputing status of things. Everything here, you get the breakdown of the payment history, sometimes up to seven years. You get the account health as well, which breaks down your percent of usage. So this is a, an installment account, so you won't have any utilization. But let's go to a different one, one where we can possibly have some utilization there. So let's look at this Capital One card here. So when you open it up, you, you can refresh and more than two years of payment history. So if you want to get very specific on disputing, it's there. And then your account health, you can go into details. Just make sure it refreshes. And then you see that, okay, this is using 59 of a $30,000 balance. So it's not, it's basically 0% there. You also can use this as a audit. So say you are doing a Zoom call with someone and you bring up the screen and you can just look at their credit report and say, hey, we're going to go through these things one by one for you. And we can outline it. As you see, this one has way more than five. This has seven years of payment history. So if you're getting into factual disputing or anything like that, you might say, hey, you know what? You can get very particular and very specific. So these are just a few benefits of using Credit Dino for your credit monitoring. But that concludes our smart credit import procedure, as well as a quick highlight of Credit Dino. So if you're interested in Credit Dino, you can go to that dashboard tab and you can apply to be an affiliate there. Or you can go to creditdino.com and sign up for a free trial as well. Or you can send an email to support at creditdino.com for more information as well. Thank you for following along in this procedure. See you in the next lesson.